Meantime, at a time where division in America seems to be at an all-time high, the Jewish Federation of Louisville wants to bring a sense of unity. They're hosting Love Sings Louder. We have Lene Price and Sir Troy Bell here in the studio <laughs> with us nice and early. So tell us about the Love Sing Louder event and the message behind it. Yeah. So tell me a little bit about, for people who maybe haven't heard of this yet, who can tell me you know, a little bit about what exactly the event is? Well, it's a big community-wide sing-along. So you don't have to be able to sing. I'm going to be there and I can't sing, but we have people like <laughs> Troy who could back us up a little bit. Uh, so Morgan can come. <laughs> <laughs> it's a community-wide sing-along, so mm. we're going to bring everybody together, and what what gives you that powerful sense of unity than music and communal voices? So we are going to teach a song. It's a surprise, so we can't men mention it. We're going to teach everybody a song, but it's a song that you know well, that everybody okay. knows. Mm -hmm. And um, Troy is one of our song leaders. Yes. He, alongside yes. Jacory 1200, Arthur, and yes. several others, are going to be teaching the audience the parts of the song, and then we're going to bring it all together. Yes. Praise God that music is a universal language so that anybody that feels like they can't sing or don't sing or uh, hesitant about making or messing everything up, yes. none, of that will, none of that will happen. Right. Why? Because love sings louder. Oh, yeah. um, all of these uh, different uh, uh, people from different walks of life mm -hmm. will... Um, are welcome to attend this event. We hope to see everybody from everybody from everywhere uh, at this event uh, to come and sing at a time when our country really needs to stand, not just stand, but stand together. Oh yeah, and like you said, you know, music kind of breaks those barriers. You know, yeah. this video that we have up right now, I actually just watched that myself, stumbled yeah. across that on Facebook, <laughs> saw you in there, featured in there as well. Yeah. There you are right there. Yeah. And I mean, really just sometimes people say, well, I can't sing, I can't do this. Even some of those little bumps in the road or, you know, off keys, you know, I might be there on a little off key, um, but no. that kind of brings people together. You yeah. can laugh yes. over it, you can yes. let that barrier down a little bit as well. Yeah. Say that? Ah, so yeah. we're hoping people will meet other people. We want to build bridges, make people feel comfortable and know that our community is incredibly diverse and we want to exactly. celebrate that diversity and bring everybody together from all walks of life, as Troy said, and raise up our voices. Yes. One more quick question for you. You know, the Jewish Federation hosting this, mm -hmm. is everyone invited no matter the religious Absolutely. background? Absolutely. In fact, Absolutely. the community is from everyone. all, the com we have people from churches, we have people from other kinds of organizations. The Jewish community, we are a convener. We love to bring people to Together, and so that's what we're doing. And so, yes, we invite everybody. It is free. It's at Iroquois Amphitheater at 2 o'clock tomorrow, okay. Sunday, September 15th. Perfect. Sunday with emphasis on sun. Perfect. Let's <laughs> hope for the sun. We'll throw up the details right there. I mean, you guys took the words right out of my mouth, making sure everybody can get there. What a great time this sounds like. The details right now on your screen. Love Sings Louder running tomorrow at the Iroquois Amphitheater. It starts at 2 o'clock. And some local dance groups will also show off their talent while bringing the city together. All of it, my favorite price, free. So <laughs> we will put more information about that on WOKY.com.